some muddy boots here again. And I just wanted to show you my latest pair of walking boots. Um, I've gone again to the Adidas brand or Adidas. Um, and I've got myself another Gore-Tex pair of Swift, um, Terex Swift R2 Gore-Tex hiking boots. Now, um, generally speaking, I've been quite pleased with these. They come in about £140, but um, I managed to get them for about £125, so there are some bargains about. Um, and what what do they say about this boot? Um, it's, it's sort of go lighter, go faster and stay dry. Um, seems to be the the thing that Adidas are, are saying about these. It's saying that they're very light breathe, weight and breathable and these boots handle all conditions. Now the reason I've gone for them was um, quite a few reasons. They had a heavier sole than my Sky Chaser walking boots, which the Sky Chasers I love, but they are quite lightweight sole and I can get quite sore um, soles of my feet if I'm walking on rough terrain. So I went for this heavier, heavier sole on these ones. Um, again, I wanted the Continental because I've found that the other boots stuck like glue to everything. Uh, so I went for the Continental sole again. Um, and I've gone again for a, a mid-cut boot which seems to just suit me well. Now, I've had these for a few weeks now and I've done about 150 miles in them. Um, so I've been rather busy walking. I've, I've um, walked Scaffell Pike in them um, and they did me well uh, and really supported me on that because a couple of weeks before I had actually taken a couple of tumbles on on Scaffell, but um, I stayed upright on these boots, so I was quite pleased with them for that. Um, and then I took them and I walked uh, Hadrian's Wall in them, um, and uh, they were they were pretty pretty good for that as well. I did also take um, my Sky Chaser boots, and um, I definitely found that my Sky Chaser boots were uh, much grippier than these. They have different a different pattern on the soles, and it, it is much slippier than. I wouldn't say it's slippy. That that's wrong to say. the The Sky Chasers are much grippier than these. Um, but what I have been shocked about when I've got them home is um, I don't know if you can actually see it. So the sole. I'm not sure how to show you. So the sole here. We've got quite a good bit of heel on this side but I mean I've walked about 150 miles on it and I don't know if you can really see how little I've got here now in comparison if I turn it around again maybe you'll be able to see there's about I mean you can see quite a bit of grip there turning it around as you can see completely flat here and um, that's about 150 miles I've done on these now a lot of it has been hard walking on on hard surfaces um, but even so I think that's quite quite quick to have worn down as such I'm quite shocked at that actually um, they've been quite easy to break in I have to say I found them quite flat on the foot um, but what I've done is actually popped some dusters down the toes and pushed them up a bit and they seem to be okay now um, just watch the sizing on them I'm normally a size 6. My um, Sky Chasers are a size 6.5. These are actually a size 7. Um, so think about bigger size on them. But um, so far so good. I am happy with them. I just uh, would like to see how long they're actually going to last me because I seem to be wearing them out quickly. Um, a week's time I'm planning on Ben Nevis. And um, I think it's probably these boots I'm going to be wearing. So um, I'm quite pleased with them. So we'll see how they go and I'll keep you posted on them. All right. Take care out there.